Welcome to your Hatha and Yin practice. We are going to start standing at the top of our mats. Let your palms face forwards and close your eyes. Feeling the feet into the earth. Grounding down through all four corners of the feet or the three main points of the big toe, baby toe, and circle of each heel. Bring your hands to meet at heart center. Deep breath in. And out. We'll take the sound of Om. On your inhale, bend your knees, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees, lift your chest forward, find a bit of a back bend. Exhale, bend your knees and hinge the foot forward, often to place your hands on your blocks. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Step the right foot back. Place the right knee down to the earth or on a block if you have it. Hold here for a few breaths. Pressing back through the right toes and sitting more through the left thigh. Reach your left arm forward and up towards the left hand side, opening up into a little twist. Exhale, release your left palm down to the mat and set your left knee back to your right knee, coming forward down to your chest and your chin, Ashtangasana. Legs coming back now, finding Cobra Pose. Inhale, pull the wrist back, push the toes back. Exhale, lower down. Press back to child's position for one breath, bring your forehead to the mat. And then walk your hands back a little bit and finding downward facing dog. Reach your right leg back into the three legged down dog. Bend your right knee and stack your hips on top of each other. As you exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb, lower the left knee down this time as you reach the arms up overhead. Lower the left hand down to the left or on a block for support. Reach your right arm open to the right for a twist. And exhale, place the right hand down, step the left foot to the right foot, standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Take your peace fingers around your big toes, thumbs beneath your peace fingers, and bring your elbows a bit wider, Padanthusthasana. Inhale, lengthen your chest halfway. Exhale, fold. Interlace your hands behind your backs as you reach your heels of your hands together, pulling your head up the arm bones behind you. And bend the knees as you press through the feet and lift yourself up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll leave with the left leg this time. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, find your back bend, leaning back. Exhale, swan dive the arms wide and down to your blocks or your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back, 
and keep your left knee off the ground this for this option or stay with your left knee as you did before on the ground. Inhale, reach the arms up for your high lunge, crescent lunge. As you exhale, place the palms down towards the mat. Take your left fingertips wide again and reach your right arm up for a twist. Now as you exhale, release the right hand down towards the mat, lower your left knee down, pivot your left knee, your left foot out to the right, so your left shin is more parallel to the front of the mat, and then from there start to come and bring your hands on top of your right thigh. From there, take your right hand arm inside of your leg or on a block and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, and then from there lift up and over towards the right. You can start to wiggle your right foot more in front of you, coming into a deeper lunge, finding a variation of Parigasana, gate position. You can straighten the right leg a bit more if you wish, and find that full side bend. Turn your chest forward towards your left, opening up your ribcage. And then inhale, coming back. Take the left toes back to normal. Hands to the blocks, bringing your right leg back, right knee down. From there, hands on the mat, come forward, lower down to your chest and chin, Ashtangasana. Inhale into Cobra or High Cobra, so the chest lengthening forward a little bit more and lifting up higher. Exhale, reach the hips back, Child's Pose. We'll take a brief side bend here as you take the arms over towards the left, resting the right side of the face into the bicep. Coming back to center and over towards the right, resting your left cheek into your left bicep. Inhale, return to your tabletop position, tucking your toes and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg back. Bending the left knee, stacking the left hip on the right hip. Bring your left knee in and stepping it forward between your palms. Lower the right, or keep the right knee off the ground. From there, reach your arms forward and up into your lunge. You can always set the back knee down if you like. Maybe for this one, you can take the hands and interlace them behind you, finding that opening across your shoulders and chest once more. On the exhale, release the right hand down on a block or on the floor. Open your left arm to the ceiling, roll your chest open, shoulders back. Exhale, release the hands down on either side of that left foot, pivoting the right foot out to the left. Walk your left foot a little bit more forward and come up onto your left thigh. Good. From there, slowly opening that right arm up towards the ceiling, lifting up and over towards the left for that nice side opening into your Parigasana gate pose. You can shift your left foot a bit more forward and come to more of an extension of the left leg, maybe even lifting your left toes off the ground and rolling the whole torso back. Inhale, release the posture. Take the hands back on either side, turn the right toes back, and then from there, slowly bring the left knee over back to that low lunge. Lift your right knee off the ground, Step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, coming 
coming up one vertebra at a time, reach the arms up. Finding your back bend. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. We'll sit into chair pose now, sit your hips back and down. Engage your glutes, lifting up to your sternum, reaching those hips back and a little bit lower towards the ground. One more breath there. Exhale, place the palms down in front of your feet. From there, lift up one foot and slide the palm of either hand underneath either sole of the foot and start to bring your weight in towards your wrists. Pada Hastasana, flip the hand pose or gorilla pose. You can bend your knees a bit. You can straighten your legs a little bit. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, release one hand, release the other hand, step your feet back to plank pose, rolling forward. Firm your belly, draw into your pelvic floor, lengthening up to the crown of your head. Exhale, lower down to your knees. Bring your knees wide for this one, child's pose. on forward to your hands and your knees. We'll find some cat-cow. Inhale, reach your hips behind and your chest through. Exhale, lengthen and round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, keeping the belly firm, going from either side, looking over one shoulder, and then the other. Over one shoulder, and then the other. Good. From there, start to do more freestyle through your cat cows, getting a little bit more open with the body, doing whatever your body is asking of you. Little freestyle movement here for a few moments. position, tuck your toes back to down dog, or you can stay in tabletop or child's pose at any point. Inhale, reach your right leg back. Bend your right knee, stack your right hip on top of your left hip. Neutralize here, step your right foot to your, uh, between your hands, and then set the right knee forward. Walk your hands up part way to your right thigh, coming into a midway lunge. 
Lift up your chest a little bit more here. And then reach the arms out wide into captive shape. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, bend into both knees, bring your shoulders back. Hug your legs together, press down strong into the mat, lift up. Exhaling, lower down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. Holding it here, placing your palms down on the mat or on your blocks if they're available. Step your left foot in and up for pyramid pose and find a narrower and shorter stance. Your hips are going to be different for all of you, so you don't worry about how narrow or how wide you are. As long as your hips feel safe, you tip your chest forward and pull back through your hips as you lengthen up to the crown of your heads. Really feel the big toe, baby toe, and circle of each heel in both feet. Medial, lateral, transverse arches helping support you from the ground up. Contract into your pelvic floor and contract your low and upper ribs in and back. A couple more breaths here. And then from there, walk your right hand to your left block and take your right hand inside of your right foot. Heel toe your left toes a little bit further back and then bend your right knee just a touch. Inhale, reach your left arm forward and up towards the ceiling, coming into triangle position, Trikonasana. Roll your shoulders back, lifting out through your left fingers, pushing down through your right palm. Some of you might take the top of the left hand to the low back, bend into your right knee with that right arm, thread it underneath your right thigh, and perhaps finding a bind as you clip your fingers or them further. And then from there, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest up and find bound triangle, Baddha Trikonasana. Let your gaze look down, forward or up. Slowly release here, come up into a warrior two position. Sit more to your right thigh for a moment. And then take your hands down to either side of that right foot. Turn your left toes to face forward, placing your hands on the mat. Step your right toes back to down dog, walking out your legs. Inhale, reach your left leg back. Bend your left knee, stack your left on your right hip. Good, inhale, reach your left leg back behind you. Step your left foot between your palms and pause. Bend into your left knee a bit and stake your hands on top of your left thigh. Pushing off of your right toes. As you push off of your right toes, find that depth into your lunge. Continue engaging towards the midline, engaging your upper inner thighs. And reach the arms out and up. Breathe in. As you exhale, slowly lower down and lift, lower, and lift, lower, and lift, two more, place your palms down, stepping that right foot in and up, taking as wide and or as narrow as the stance as comfortable for your body. From there, send your hips back, extend your sternum forward, 
Now you over your left leg, your Parjvottanasana pyramid position. here. And then from there, taking your right hand block to the inside of your left foot, placing your left hand on top and placing your right hand on your right hip, opening up towards the right and reach the right arm up. Push away through your right foot, maybe walk your right foot out a little bit, lengthening up through the crown of the head, out through the fingertips, and then taking as much extension through that left leg as you wish. Push away through the outer edge of your right foot, and perhaps reach your right arm across the ear, coming into that extended triangle variation. take that bind, you're welcome to take half bind with the right top of the hand on the low back. Bend a bit into your left knee and taking that left fingers, for the right fingers, rolling your shoulders back and down and opening up your sternum and your torso more towards the right. Slowly release as you come up into your warrior two for a few moments. Repositioning your legs a bit wider bit more even. Inhale, release the hands down on either side of that left foot, turning the right toes to face forwards, and step your left foot back to your right foot to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to your plank pose. Lower down to your knees, chest and chin. And now come back onto your thighs and your legs, setting up for sphinx position. So for sphinx position, take your elbows out in front of you, forearms are usually as wide as your shoulders. Nice, spread through the fingers, press the tops of your feet down. From there, lengthen your pelvis and sternum forward, and press down through your pubic bone a bit more. You can take a block beneath your forehead if you like, which might help you find a bit more stability through your cervical spine and neck. Couple more breaths here in your space. If you have a block beneath your forehead, you can place it off 
Place your hands on top, reaching your elbows wide, and begin to lower your ribs and your chest down one at a time, bringing the forehead towards the hands. Slide your right knee in and up so it comes into a figure four position on your belly, like a front facing half frog for a couple breaths. Breathing into your right hip. Reach your right leg back, slide your left knee forward, keeping it close to the ground, breathing in. Take your left leg back. From here, you'll have your blocks. And as you take your blocks, have them on their second setting, on an angle, and you will aim for the edge of the blocks for your alternative prop, right in between that sensitive area around the pectorals and the armpits and the lats. So you get a little bit into those tissues. Once you come down, you can rest your forehead on your hands, on your fists, or a block if you have a block handy. Breathe in and around the shoulders, the chest and the pectorals. Release your blocks out to the sides. Your palms come back behind you. Palms facing up with the chin down. Take your arms out into a T shape, tenting your fingertips. Push the fingertips away from each other and breathe into your arms. please grab your bolsters. The bolster will come widthwise, so that way it's horizontal at the back of the mat. From there, you can take one of your foam blocks, and if you have a chip foam block, stacking them on top of each other, so it helps to cushion the head and the neck. You'll aim for the base of the shoulder blades at the heart line, right over the bolster. 
and recline your head back and let your arms come in line so they can rest by your sides or out in line with your shoulders. As you find this back bend, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, lift your left foot off the ground, and then you can take your hands around the left shin or thread the needle. Breathing in, and breathing out. So as you get a bit of a back bend, you also get a little outer right hip and thigh love as well. Breathe in, and breathe out. Slowly release your left foot down, reach your right leg up to the ceiling, taking your hands behind your hamstring. And just feel that length move across the back of the right leg for a few breaths. And then slowly release the right foot and switch sides, taking the left outer edge of the foot instead of the ankle on top of the right thigh. Lift your right foot off the ground and you can take your hands interlacing them behind your right hamstring or around the right shin below the knee if you prefer that. And settling into your left side.
taking a few more moments here. Send your legs out in front of you. Let your shoulders rest as you walk your legs off to the left and cross your right ankle over your left ankle for a banana pose. So the right side of the body gets a little bit of traction from the right hip all the way down to the feet. You can lift your torso up and over at the same time to increase that side bend. But make sure that your hips and your lower back are balanced so they don't favor one side or the other. And just breathing into that right side. Here for five more cycles of breath. One more here.
and then go ahead, walk your legs off to the right. Hook the left ankle over the right ankle. Lift your shoulders and chest off to the right as well. And breathing into your left side. Last five breaths here. Nice, cathartic exhale. <sighs> and carefully walk your legs from your torso back to neutral. And just take a pause once again. Bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor, hug the knees into the chest once again. Let your knees open wide. So what I find happens a lot is the head and the neck come off the ground very fast. So to prevent that, just slide your hands up your shins, push your feet up, open the legs out a little bit and let your hands stay on your shins and have your elbows and your inner knees softly press against each other, coming into happy baby. So you don't have to jerk your neck and your head around and cause a potential injury. Just letting the inner thighs release here. Be here for about a minute or so. One more breath here, and out. <sighs> Bending the knees, bringing the heels in for 
draw the knees together, hugging your thighs in towards your chest. Placing your feet down to the ground, lay your knees windshield wiper from side to side. Let your knees fall over to the left. Grab your block and place your block underneath your left knee. And if you have a second block handy, placing that block, chip foam or foam block or something in between, between your inner thighs so your knees can disengage and your shoulders can stay on your backs. Quite often the knees will kind of be seized and stuck in place without props putting unnecessary tension and strain on the knees and the surrounding ligaments. So please use props if you have them, just in general. Breathing into your right side. Now back to center and switching towards the other side. back to center here. Hug your knees into your chest and if you have your bolster, place the bolster beneath your knees. And then release your legs out over your bolster. Lengthen your spine. And if you want to put a soft block beneath your head, Go ahead and do that and get comfortable for Shavasana.
deepen your breath. And relax out to the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Wiggling your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Stretching the arms overhead, pointing your toes for a full stretch. Maybe hugging your knees into a little ball as you roll to your left side. Pressing up from fetal position and finding yourself in a comfortable seated position. Ideally on a prop or some height to tip your pelvis forward and lengthen through the crown of your head. Placing the hands at heart center. Honoring the importance of the yang practices that help to train and to develop our physical structures and our more superficial layers in the body, the muscle tissue, and even more so in some respect, but not all. The rest and the recovery, the rehabilitation of the deeper, non-superficial, subtle bodies and energies in the body and our connective tissues and our fascia that keep our muscle tissues strong and capable. Take an inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale for one ohm. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Namaste.